Okay, we are gonna go ahead and put the exhaust manifold on. So what we've got here is we have, that should come with fresh gaskets. So we've got six fresh gaskets. Um, 24 valve are all circular ports. 12 valves will be rectangular ports. Um, so that you can have that as a reference point for whatever you're working on. Um, I won't be able to do this one-handed, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to, we've already put the gaskets on, and we've put enough bolts in there to kind of hold each gasket in place. There's a little, let me see if I can get one of these off. Well, we can probably look through there. You can see that there are kind of tabs on that that allow you to kind of get a purchase with that bolt so they don't just flop right off. We kind of screw them on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab that guy. We're going to put it up on the motor and we're going to get kind of two bolts here and two bolts up front just to get her started. And But we're not going to tighten them. And then we'll go through and we'll just put each bolt in by hand. Then we'll kind of run them down. And then from there, we'll go ahead and torque them down to 32 feet pounds. So the torque spec on these guys, 32 feet pounds. If you're in that ballpark, you should be good. All right, so there's your exhaust manifold install and we'll come back after we've got it up and sitting on the motor. Okay, so we've got it setting on the motor now. You can see that we've basically don't have any of them tight at all. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get each one in a couple of threads and as you're lifting it up there, if you're doing it in the truck, um, remember the exhaust manifold almost sits on the oil cooler housing here. So if you are gonna work on something, I would suggest rest it on the front oil cooler housing, get one of these back bolts in and then you can come back to the front so you're not trying to fight the weight, especially if you've got a turbo hanging on here. All right, so we will move on now to the next piece. Okay, so as you're getting these little guys lined up, and especially if you just hung it by, the hung the gasket by the top one, make sure that you check to see that that thing, is, the gasket is aligned with the lower bolt hole. Um, I had two that were off enough that I could have just gone ahead and slid the bolt in there had I not paid attention and the gasket would have been completely off. And you can only tell by looking underneath at it. So um, as you're doing that, just take time to make sure before you tighten anything up that you are all lined up with your gaskets, especially if you're just hanging them by one. You would think that gravity would pull it straight down. Uh, not always the case. All right, on to the next step. Okay, now that we know we've got everything test fit and we know that we should be good to go, I am, and again, this is why I didn't go ahead and tighten everything down. Um, you can do this beforehand if you'd like, um, I just find that it makes for a mess. So now that you've got the gaskets in place and everything is looking good, you go ahead and you grab your anti-seize um, because nothing sucks worse than breaking a bolt off, especially in your head. Um, we have a truck that is running with all but one. Yep, it's not coming off anytime soon either. So go ahead, anti-seize it before you tighten everything down to your 32 feet pounds. So that's the last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get all of these covered with anti-seize and we'll be back for the final tightening. Okay, so we've got anti-seize on everything and we're just gonna show you real quick, just for the sake of this, the, sorry, we're gonna show you the pattern. So. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. So again, if you're looking at this, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it basically starts on cylinder top of cylinder number three and it works in a ever expanding spiral out all right and again the torque spec for that will be 32 feet pounds we'll see you on the next section of this build